Hey guys, welcome to Sands Wines Lounge. I'm your host, Chris Dwyer. How you going? I just told you my last name. Apparently, that's all good. I don't mind. I'm okay with that, and my address is. So this week we have a brand new competition for Suto. Something out of the ordinary, and you're going to be winning a DVD of Suto. The first person to win a DVD is going to be one of you guys out there watching this video. How do we win it? How do you win it? Well. So you're gonna have to watch Herman's Hints first and then I'm gonna tell you right away after how to win a DVD. So Herman, Herman, can you please do the hints and make them extra special this week? And can you please say hi back to me because you never say hi to me. Thank you. Hey guys, welcome to this week's Herman's Hints where I show you hints and tips for the everyday magician. Hear that range? It's like... Anyways guys, for this week's hint, um, as we're following our theme on who you are, there's the third hint for that theme is gonna be on the things you say. So, you as a performer, how do you deliver your presentation? What is it that you say? How do you carry yourself? When you are um, presenting or delivering your presentation and your patter, what's the way that you do so? Do you, you imagine that your character that fits your magic has a lower voice, a stronger voice, a lighter, funnier tone? Depends on your magic. And there's this broad horizon of voices and ways to deliver your lines that you can explore and find one that works best for your magic. So the best way to find out is to actually present it in front of a webcam. Have it recorded, watch it back, and see how you present your, uh, present your magic as if you are performing to a live audience. That way you see um, how the audience members you know, perceive you as a performer. Now the mind always plays tricks on us, but the camera never lies. So when you're watching back, be honest with yourself. Critique yourself as you would be when you are critiquing someone else. And that is a shortcut on you know, finding and developing this character that works best for you and just finding the best potential character that you can become to enhance your magic. So that's the tip this week. I hope you take away from it. Now, if you missed the previous ones for the Who You Are theme, please go back and watch the previous lounges if you're curious and just want to be aware of how you perform your magic. Anyways, guys, you know what? Stay tuned to next week. Possibly there might be a special guest to do Herman's Hints. I know Herman's Hints, there's no Herman. I mean, there was Jansen too. It doesn't make sense, but special guest, who can complain? I know you guys are gonna really enjoy it. Please stay tuned to next week. And guys, Chris, take it away. Take it away. Just take it, take it. So I hope Herman's hints were helpful for you guys. Now, again, onto the competition. The main, the main point of this week. Now, pseudo, something out of the ordinary. It is the art of doing magic with an everyday object, like a cigarette, for instance. But, but, not a cigarette you find on the ground that's used. Because that'll lead to hepatitis. So what we want you guys to do is actually film a video for us. This, this time we're doing our competition a bit different. We are getting you to show us your skills. Now, what we want you to do is go on YouTube and reply to this video on YouTube with your own video titled Suto Competition. So S-O-O-T-O -O -O space competition. I'm not gonna spell that because I can't. So now we want it to be a short clip, okay? So nothing more than say 30 seconds and a short clip just basically showing us your skills and your art of the ordinary. So when you post your 30 second video, again, remember to title it with pseudo competition and do it as a reply video so we can directly see it and then everyone else can see it and then everyone else can see your skills. Now we will be choosing our favorite who we think is the best. But also remember guys, this is a way for you to get your own skill set out there for everyone else in the world to see your own magic set. So basically, this can't hurt you, but only do good for you, I think. Okay guys, that's it for us this week on The Lounge um, and the month of March, I guess, really. I hope everything was good. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you entered this competition because we really do want to see where everyone is and hit your progression levels and just how like how much you love the art. And it shows us that you love us and that you love the art of magic by doing these competitions because we love to get you guys involved. We really do. Now remember to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, our newsletter. Keep up to date with us so we can keep up to date with you. Um, basically guys, that's all I have to say for this month. Really good luck with the competition. We'll be announcing the winner soon. We're gonna give you guys a few days to you know get your videos up there. I'll see you next week and stay safe. Don't take lollipops from strange vans.